Alrighty, yo guys, welcome to another episode with me, your host, Snake Gaming, and today we're looking at Shiv. Now, Shiv has been completely OP in this last patch. They did give it a bit of a nerf lately, but I'm not going to show you guys that general build. I tried something else. I tried something different. We didn't even get here uh, items like Healbane or uh, Decay, things like that, that you generally do get on Shiv. I just didn't get it. I went a completely different route. The build worked for this game. I don't know if it's going to work every time, but it's an easy build to follow. It wasn't hard. There's no combos that you have to do. It is just playing Shiv, and you'll see we did a ton of damage. All right. So I want to show you guys the build, and then I'm going to show you guys some gameplay. All right, guys. So for this build, we have the basic magazine, which you later increase into Titanic magazine. Or, eh? Then you got your slowing bullets, just so you can keep up with the enemy. Once you shoot them once or twice, you keep up with them. You slow them down. And then to help you catch up to them even better, we had Warpstone. Now, I love Warpstone. It's good for mobility. I love playing mobility heroes. So the Warpstone just helps out a little bit. And then we also have Close Quarters, which we upgrade into point blank over there. All right. Then in the Vitality slot, we have the extra regen, right, which is a standard early game laning item, which we just kept. We've got Spirit Armor and uh, bullet, bullet Armor. These two, it's just basic. You want to tank up, all right? We've got a bit of Spirit Lifesteal, which we would have liked to upgrade into Leech later on. And then in the laning stage, we also had Healing Right, which we then later reached into Healing Nova. All right, so that is our Vitality items. Spirit, this is where a lot of your damage comes from. So we've got extra Spirit. I should have upgraded it to improve Spirit. It's just such a big buff in damage. But I uh, never got around to it. I was just trying some different things. All right. We get the extra charge so that you've got more daggers to toss out. Then we have the improved cooldown to help you spam out uh, um, your spells more often. I tried something with this build and I went Divine as Kevlar. All right. When you have your ult as Shiv, you can use your ult a couple of times. Right. Because as long as you kill an enemy with your ult, it refreshes the cooldown and you can use it again. So I thought to myself, hey, that's pretty good. Now, Divinus Kevlar does have a 64 second cooldown, right? It does have a cooldown, but you can reduce it with your cooldown reductor. And not just that, but if you ult someone, you often go and you launch yourself towards that guy and you ult him and you're in the middle of the enemies. Well, then during that time, you have the increased bullet shield and spirit shield. That's 700 bullet shield, 700 spirit shield where you are going to be tanking up a lot of damage or soaking up a lot of damage, plus the plus 40 spirit power, where you're going to do amazing amounts of damage. All right, so that's just something I was trying, experimenting with in this build, and it worked out pretty well. Then you have the improved burst, because you do a lot of burst damage with your dash. We also had the suppressor, which we wanted to upgrade into Mystic Slow, so you can keep up with the enemies more often. Then we had our, what's the last item? Oh, improve reach. There we go. So that our abilities go for further. All right. That's it. That's our basic build uh, and why we got it. So here's some gameplay to show you guys how this all worked. It's super easy. It doesn't contain any combos. It's just straightforward. Use your abilities and they'll dish out damage. All right. So a bit of shiv action. All right, now, I don't know if you guys know, but Shiv is actually the counter to Lady Geist. All right, what Lady Geist does is she dishes out loads of magic damage. She's very squishy, but she relies on some of her abilities to keep her going, right? But when she's low HP, she wants to life swap, all right? And unfortunately, when the enemy is low, Shiv, or AKA Mr. Elvis over here, he wants to press his alt button and kill you right remember he kills you if you're low hp it's an instant kill so the only way for her to counter you is to have silences which her life drain eventually will automatically silence you but she needs to get it on you and your um your ability goes from far away your, your alt the other thing is with the recent nerfs to the um right click builds the punch builds the melee lifesteal builds whatever you want to call it Shiv is not as strong in that uh, scenario anymore, all right? So you got to think of new builds, and that's what we're going to show you guys here. All right, now, just, uh, we are low. We are last hitting a couple of creeps from the safety of behind the corner of there. The enemy is also quite low. We land that dagger, and luckily, we get the kill. 
Right, so a little easy kill. That's another cool build you can try as the dagger build. Um, it's very situational, I'd say. You just gotta stand back and, and spam those daggers. But yeah, it, it works. Now, um, a, prob a mistake that the enemy makes here is they go into a narrow alleyway. All right, when you fall low, you don't want to go into that narrow, narrow alleyway because the problem with Shiv is he dashes in. Right now, if you can dodge left and right, um, you can obviously dodge his his dash. But now you can see in here, I can just go straight and I hit them all. Turn around, send my ult flying. Unfortunately, I don't get the kill with the ult, but I still get the kill eventually. Right. But you get the idea. Don't go into narrow alleyway when fighting Shiv. You want to fight out in the open where you can dodge left and right, get uh, away from all his dashes and his um, daggers. Even the daggers, dude, if you're just stuck around the corner or down an alleyway, you can just straight forward dagger everyone and get loads of kills. All right, so I realize that I'm in a bit of trouble there. It's a 1v2 situation. I've used my dagger, I see that she's low, now you can see I'm actually waiting for her around the corner. I was hoping she would come closer so I can get the, get her ult off. I managed to get the kill just with my charge and then follow up on the um, pocket over there with my ult. Alright, so easy double kill over there, 1v2 situation and we managed to make it work. Beautiful dagger landed over there. Now um, my accuracy is not the greatest out there. Um, luckily this guy has a shotgun so I can hit everything with a shotgun but you can see my rage meter is full there I do a dash and that does a butt ton of damage alright there's a lot of squishy heroes on the enemy team they only have one tank and that's Abram the rest of them are very squishy Infernus gets a little bit tanky later on with the right items but yeah it's very situational another dash and an ult he manages to dodge my ult there which sucks but we do finish him off nonetheless alright and uh, we get out of dodge. Um, that's one cool thing about Pocket. I love that hero. It's so it's like playing Puck in, in Dota 2. Now I don't have my rage meter full there, but still Vindicta is a very squishy hero. So uh, yeah, we can just chunk her down little bit by little bit, and and uh, she will go down. I could have used charge here a long time ago to get the kill, but. Uh, I didn't realize it was all cool. It's difficult for me, especially using your third ability as well, um, knowing when to use it. Because I don't play these heroes very often, um, to make these videos for you guys, I'm obviously playing loads of different heroes all the time. And I don't get into the habit of certain small little niche. niche, niche how the hell do you say that? Niche things that you need to do. Um, and. Uh, using your third ability on pocket is one of those things that you just need to get into the habit of doing and because i don't play them enough yeah unfortunately i i'm struggling i'm pretty much alt focused now uh yeah we got a couple more kills there beautiful your alt uh, at the tier five or your final level of the alt it doesn't go on cooldown as long as you land the alt as long as you get the killing blow with the alt you're pretty much a for a wave so loads of kills there and now we're pushing the lane again. Um, something you'll notice at the end of this game, I did get the most kills, but I did not, well I also did the most damage, but um, my team were all doing very similar damage to me or very close to They were playing really well. I'm just lucky enough to have gotten most of the ults with my ult, or most of the kills with my ult rather. Um, a little pocket trying to dodge here, but uh, yes, you just can't dodge the shiv. But that ended up leaving me way too deep into enemy territory over there. And uh, I do... I should pay with for my life here. Yeah? yeah, I do. Alright, <laughs> they caught me middle. But uh, yeah, I do go down there. That's fine. My team ends up pressuring the enemy um, shrine over here. Pocket gets a little dodge over there. But uh, as soon as he pops out of his, uh, his backpack there, he is a goner again. I love that hero. Really, I do. I've got a video coming up of him soon. Launching, I'm trying to get the kill onto the Vindicta there, but they kill her before I reach. Um, but that's okay. We can see multiple enemies here with the rage charge. We <laughs> just do so much damage. This hero is really strong. Even without the melee build, this hero is really, really strong. Look at that charge through, and the enemy just melts. Now, obviously, there is a lot of squishies in this team. 
but uh, it's fine. Just playing out some daggers. I realize I'm the last man standing for my team, and I just run there. Next team fight. Get around the corner. I see the um, the paradox, and we decide to launch in on him. Try and get a hold of him. I do get stuck on the wall there a little bit, unfortunately. Um, and uh, now chasing him pretty deep into his base. Missing some important daggers there. The daggers will help slow him so I can get close to him. And uh, eventually we do chunk him down over here. We get the kill. But now again I'm deep in enemy territory. So yeah, I got a little bit too deep. And in comes Pocket to try and capitalize on me. I almost get him down here. I managed to stay away just a little bit. But finally that ghost gets a hold of me and i go down all right now as i respawn i see they are in my base and who other than oh, vindicta right she's already low so with the one press of the button she goes down uh, this hero is is just insane right getting kills is easy with this hero winning a game with the hero is a different story all right now <coughs> Beautiful ult coming in from the Infernus there, I just respawned, so I don't really want to go down here. Trying to get back to my um, my base here. And uh, spam out some daggers. I want to slowly chip them down with these daggers. And then eventually, yes, then we can start launching in with the ult. So, see the enemies here, launch up some, some um, daggers. Launch in with my dash. Get a little bit of damage in. They don't even realize that I'm behind them over here. This paradox is is now noticed it and uh, I take him down. Inferno still hasn't turned on me and eventually he does turn on me but it's too late. It's now a 1v1 situation. I've been able to capitalize and down goes Inferno. Go back for a bit of a heal and when I get there who's here? Lady Geist. All right now like I said Lady Geist we counter her easy enough. So after chunking her down a little bit before she gets her life swap out we land the ult and she goes down easy enough uh if you have someone that spams lady geist go for heroes like kelvin it's and dynamo dynamo is also really good versus her now we've got a lot of enemy heroes here here you can see i do manage to pop my third ability but i've got three heroes focusing down on me and i'm just launching in and out trying to stay alive here you can see my hp pool popping up and down the heroes are launching at me i'm on the doorstep of the enemy here and i have no idea how i've just survived through all of that all right the fourth hero comes in and that is eventually where it's just too much i just can't but i was very close to getting the vindicta down there as well luckily with all the heroes down my team was able to capitalize abram comes in here tries to get me down uh, he does launch onto me but uh, luckily my teammates are close by and they are able to help me out and uh, I get the kill again using my ult. So we're starting to chunk down that patron. It's getting very low, but the enemies are coming around and they are dealing a lot of damage. I'm very low. I've got affliction on me, and eventually I do go down. All right, affliction is such a terrible item. You just need debuff reducer for that or debuff remover eventually. But okay, most of my team is dead, and the enemy is pretty split up. It's me and Calvin that are trying to take on the enemy. <laughs> enemy um me calvin and mcginnis sorry trying to take on the enemy patron here and they are trying to base race at the moment but uh with the mcginnis on our team we just stand a very good chance Hayes respawns Hayes goes in and helps defend our patron which obviously in a small environment is just the best and uh that enables us to get a good chunk of damage onto this patron get the kill onto the infernus and eventually win the game all right now, like I said, yes, I did get the most kills here. It looks like I'm an insane player, but you'll see the damage. I did do the most damage, but it's still um, it's still not that much more than my teammates, all right? So we all did pretty, pretty well here. And uh, I was just fortunate enough to press R and, and get kills. But the build is insane. It works, all right? Now that melee Shiv is no longer a thing, thank God, we can still win games with Shiv. Hope you guys enjoyed it, hope you guys liked it, subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.